what up i'm tyler i'm gonna speed run down mount beacon um, i'm shooting for about 10 15 minutes tops um, and then I'm not gonna stop even if I sprain my ankle I guess that makes for good content and I'm probably gonna fall once or twice, but that's what makes it fun uh, Here's the nice beautiful view of Mount Beacon in New York And uh, Let's let's do this right. It's gonna start out pretty uh, pretty easy, but then it gets a little steep at some parts Excuse me guys My phone ringing in my backpack. I don't know if you could hear that, but we're just cruising along here. These are a little jagged, but pretty easy. Kind of flat surfaces for the most part. Now this stuff gets a little loose, but it's manageable, all very manageable. See what I'm doing is focusing on the flat areas and mostly trying not to die. All right, making progress. Kind of use the trees to slow me down there for a second. Just trying to get a little winded. It's a lot of work in the upper uh, upper quads. I'm constantly trying to brake. You know, definitely not good for the brakes. I almost just fell there. All right. This part is pretty easy, mostly dirt. That's helpful. But it rained recently, so it's a little bit on the looser side. You gotta be careful not to. Not to slip there. Oh, almost fell again right there. It's important that I'm not putting 100% of my body weight on either foot. Just in case I do start to slip, I could uh, kind of cancel out that foot and focus on my next, my next foot to catch me. Look, there's a dog. He's doing it. We're gonna take the steeper route here. I use these trees to help me break and to give my legs like a two second break from uh, not, not being, being utilized. Cause even though I'm going downhill, this is a lot of freaking work to stay afloat here. All right, we're back on the main trail. This is just nice and relaxing, it's easy to control. Thanks guys. starting to feel a burn here. Before I was getting tired, but now it's starting to physically burn. But this part's nice and easy. This is a good break. 
So I'm not just blindly running here. Um, 100% of my focus is on my next step. Actually, my next three steps probably. I'm really good at calculating where I'm gonna go next. And I'm kinda like jumping, I'm, I'm aiming for the flattest rocks I can find. And sometimes when they're at a 45 degree angle, um, it's the perfect like brake cushion. So I don't have to worry about slipping, kinda put my body weight into it and slow down. We're probably at like a five minute mark now, if I had to guess. This part's pretty easy, I'll get a nice big view. How's it going? It's going. A little wetness here. It's important not to get your shoes wet. In the meantime, that just adds to the slipperiness of some of the flat rocks. Ooh, I'm sprained my ankle there. Love it. All right, we made it to the stairs. How's it going? Good, how you doing? It's good. I have no clue what time that was. Thanks guys. <laughs> These steps are killing me. A lot of muscles that I've used a lot of in the last 10 minutes. Really burning. And the steps are like half steps. So I feel like I'm doing twice the work to go down like normal speed. I'm gonna try skipping some steps. We'll go two at a time. See, that takes a lot of focus and it's very dangerous. And that's pretty much the bottom. There's parking right around the corner over there. So I'm gonna call that at the end of it. But uh, I'm excited to see how this came out. Um, There's probably once I almost sprained my ankle where I started to twist it a little bit. Um, probably three or four times where I slipped a little bit, was able to catch myself. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll tell you, it takes me a hell of a lot, a lot longer to get up the hill. All right, I'm a little bit more relaxed now. Um, What's crazy is when I stopped the video, it tells me how long it was. And it was eight minutes and 30 seconds, which is blows my mind because I know I was talking for like the last minute, minute and a half, maybe even two minutes. So I essentially got down that mountain between five and seven minutes, I would say, but I want to do an actual check later on when I, when I post edit this footage. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'll put a little timer on the, the corner of the screen there so we can watch together. I'm, I'm super excited to see how it looked from a different perspective. And you know, I made sure to get a 360 camera. so. You could see what I'm looking at in addition to maybe see where I'm looking um, and you know maybe some obstacles I have to face along the way. So we'll keep in touch. First and foremost, I highly do not recommend this. This is extremely dangerous. I used no ropes whatsoever and climbed a very rickety metal ladder up an abandoned cell phone tower. You're able to see this from the first viewpoint of Mount Beacon, which is kind of that cement area that you see in the middle of the screen there. That's also where I started my speed run. And uh, yeah, it, it, the tower moves about six inches left and right in the wind. It's, it's very windy. Um, it's probably about 10 to 15 stories high. Super cool, but again, very dangerous. Don't do this at home.